Do you look at your private practice as an asset and consider how strategic decisions are driving ROI and long-term value of that investment? Well, in this Ask Akrinos, we're going to touch on four areas you can evaluate to ensure you're optimizing key decisions to drive growth, profit, and the long-term value of your practice. Now, area number one is all around the numbers. And here, we're referring to both the production and the financials. Now, production analytics do a wonderful job of identifying the KPIs, the metrics, the conversions, all those key growth drivers of that top-line gross revenue. However, they fail to illustrate the true profitability of the practice. That's why it's imperative that you're looking at both your production analytics, but also your profit analytics, which you're going to find in your financials, your income statement, your balance sheet, your statement of cash flows. And it's only when you're actually putting all these analytics together, again, both the production analytics coming out of your practice management software and your profit analytics coming out of your financials, and you really start of getting a, a good, robust idea of not only overall profitability of the, of the practice, but what's driving that profit. Right, Because that's ultimately what's going to drive some of these strategic decisions and how you're going to seek to grow here in your next phase of growth. So that then leads us to area number two. So having a good, firm grasp of the numbers. Again, we're looking at your private practice as an asset. Grasp of the numbers. Area number two to evaluate, to optimize your decisions as well. Understanding the value of the practice. Now, we're not going to do a deep dive into valuation in this Ask Akrinos. We do have some great resources at akrinos.com. But in bringing it up, it's imperative that you have a, a general working knowledge of that fair market value of your practice. Because once again, if we're looking at your practice as one asset in a broader portfolio and you truly want to optimize your investment allocation, it's imperative you understand the value and the ROI of that practice. That then brings us to area number three, and that is going to be your broader portfolio. Chances are you owning your practice, it's but one asset in a much broader portfolio that may include real estate, brokerage accounts, qualified retirement accounts. Uh, the list can go on any myriad of assets in your portfolio. And it's only in understanding the value of those assets and the returns in those assets that you, again, can truly optimize where you're going to in place your investment dollar. And this leads us to area number four to evaluate when looking at your practice as an asset, and that is your time horizon. Whether you are three years into your cold start or whether you are three years out from your dream of retirement, understanding your time horizon and your risk tolerance is imperative in your, your broader financial planning, and particularly if we're going to be looking at your private practice as an asset and optimizing those investment dollars. So look, it's a marvelous time to be in private practice. We invite you to, to look at your private practice as an asset and truly realize that the decisions you're making today, the more strategic those decisions are today, that's ultimately what's going to drive that sustainable growth, profitability, and long-term value of your practice. Hey, if you're ready to take your practice to the next level, plan for that next stage of growth, whatever big ideas you've got on the horizon, hit us up over to Carinos. We would love to connect, learn about your vision, and share how our solutions can bring that vision to reality.